Let me show you how to create this really cool cyborg effect in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. So today we will create another cyborg effect, it will be really fun, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, today we will use this photo to create this really cool cyborg effect and the difference between the last cyborg effect we did and this day is that today we will take the parts of the cheeks right there and take it out from the head and make it even more interesting. I will show you how you can do that really easily. So how I like to do it is just to create a new layer and roughly make a sketch of the parts how I want this to be. It doesn't need to be like this. I think I did originally like that. And just create outline. So I already did this. As you can see, I just use a brush and it's not even really nice straight lines. So in order to make this better, I will use a pen tool, P for a pen tool and just trace this uh, lines a little bit better. If you don't know how to use a pen tool, I have a full tutorial dedicated on that and you can find it on the link right there. And now I will fast forward this because I don't want to waste your time watching me doing this slow process. Okay, now when you finish the path, you need to turn it into selection. But before that, I want to press Ctrl or Command J just to make the copy of a background layer, just in case we mess something up, I want to have the original down below. And now what I like to do is to press Ctrl or Command Enter to load the selection from the path. And now I want to uh, extract this out of the background. So Ctrl, Shift and J or Command, Shift and J. And as you can see, I have this on a separate layer. It's like that. So I will fill, I will create a new layer, fill it with the black, just a temporary, just when I move this to see uh, the black underneath the skin. And now I will continue uh, the same for this part right there. So I will go right there, use a pen tool and do exactly the same thing. Okay, like this, Control or Command Enter, go back to background layer, Shift Control J or Shift Command J on a Mac. And yeah, that's it. So we have, this would be left, because it's our left. I know it's her right cheek, but, but it's our left. Left and right, right cheek. Okay, and now what we need to do is to trace the other lines here with the pen tool. So I will do that. I'm pressing the escape when I'm finishing with one portion of the line because I want to have everything in, in one basically layer later. So escape and then continue with another one. And in case you don't know how to do this step by step, I already have it explained on one of my previous cyborg effects. Check it out on the link right there. So I'm purposely making a longer lines here. Escape. And again, escape and I will fast forward this. Okay, let's see if that's all. Now I forgot this one right there. And I think now we have, oh, we have it all. Okay, now the next process is to create another layer, create a new layer and I will call it lines. But I already have lines, but okay, lines number two. Okay, and now I will use the black color brush. Let's choose the size of the brush. Now it's important to choose the size before we do anything else. So I think this is pretty cool. Then I will hide this line layer and go back to pen tool, P for a pen tool, right click, stroke path, and then choose a brush here. And I will not check simulate pen pressure. So like that. And now I can press delete once to delete uh, the path. And that's it. So we have these lines. And that's all that I need for now. Maybe I will draw something later. I will see but this is pretty cool. Okay, so now I will move this cheek. Okay, this one a little bit to the left and out. So to make impression that is actually going out from the, the head. Okay, and the distance you can choose how whatever you want. So this is pretty cool. I will do the same for this one. 
probably something like like this okay and let me see this looks pretty cool for now all right so now we need to create the 3d version of this now it's thin like zero zero millimeter thin so to do that i will go to the left one and press ctrl or command j to copy it move the copy down below and just move it a little bit here then what i like to do i like to go and create new layer curves adjustment layer clip it effect only this one make this brighter i will make it a lot brighter and later with the mask choose what i want to do and then move this one see i will use the arrows and choose the thickness of this part so maybe i don't want to be too thick but neither too thin so let's see let's unzoom this this looks pretty cool okay and i will do the same for the other one so Control or command J, move it down below. I will go with the curse adjustment layer. Actually, I can copy this one by holding Alt or Option key, clip it to effect only uh, this one down below and move it somewhere here. Okay. And this is similar thickness, I think. Ah, it's pretty cool and uh, this is just a start now we need to fix these gaps right there as you can see and these gaps right there okay but before we do that i need to mention the sponsor for today's video this video is sponsored by sandro.io sandro is ai artificial intelligence music generator it's an amazing tool to generate unique music for your videos like facebook uh, instagram content youtube videos video games content whatever you want and the music is fully licensed you need to go to soundrow.io, choose create music and the fun will start. You need to choose between different video teams, different moods, length, tempo, instruments and genre. And this is how it goes. Let's choose log, let's choose happy and let's choose only 15 or 30 seconds of the music. And we can select the tempo, we can select the instruments or deselect certain instruments that we don't want to be included and also certain genre to select or deselect but i will leave everything on and click create music now the ai part of the software will generate 15 different songs and everything every time you click create music it will randomize 15 different songs that are unique so let's listen to them And you have a lot of possibilities here. So for example, I like this one and I can just download it here or put it to favorite or I can edit the music. So I can press edit and here is where the fun part starts. We can do a lot of things right there, customize it in our own needs. So we can expand it or shorten it down. We can change the BPM, be, uh, beats per minutes. We can change different instruments, different key and also the volume of separate tracks and we can do a lot of here so let, let's listen to this so we can remove the melody or add even more melody or just leave with backing and add a bass then here we can remove the drums and the melody have something like this add even more fill here and that's it and we can even uh, go stop it Okay, and then expand it if we want longer, maybe we want even longer, minute and a half, two minutes, etc. And we can customize every single part here, which is really amazing. We can nail it to our needs. Also, we can go and add our video here so we can preview it right there. But if you want to do this in a Premiere Pro, then there is a Premiere Pro and uh, After Effects plugin. So we can download the plugin for free and use this exactly. Uh, same thing in Premiere Pro or After Effects or if you're using some other software for video editing then you can do everything online like I did right here and just download the music and use it there. Also what is really cool is that you can start completely for free, you can create unlimited music, you can save created music and that's all you can do it for free. But if you choose annual plan for $16.6 .6 per month you can then use unlimited downloads and for commercial use, YouTube monetization, etc, etc. You can see for everything, basically anything here. 
and uh, use it there. Also, if you just want to pay it for mo one month, it's almost twenty dollars, nineteen point nine US dollars. As you already saw, this is really amazing AI music generator and the benefit of using this one is that you can create your own music, you can generate your own music and tweak it to match your own needs and you will have unique piece of uh, music for your uh, video content. Right guys, if you want to try it, check out the link down there in the description and enjoy the free part there and then if you like it, you can always go to monthly or annual plan. All right, now let's go back to video. Okay, now we need to fix this gap, as I already said. So let's go uh, back here and I will group this as a left and I will group this as a right because I want to have clean layer list here. Okay, and now I will go here to the left one and I will choose, hide this, choose this color, Alt and click and go back here and just with that color, actually, if I want to paint here, I need to choose this color right there. And with that color, I need to paint back here. And I can lock the transparency layer. So wherever I paint, I won't paint outside of, of this. Let's make this a little smaller, uh, softer. Okay, like that. That's perfect. And uh, let's fix this part down below so let's click here and why i'm why i'm hiding this layer because this is the color if now i choose the color i will choose really bright color and it will be even brighter because of the curves adjustment layer so i don't want that i want to hide the curves adjustment layer select the color and now and now paint here but now i want to uncheck the lock transparency because i want to go a little bit more so let's go with a little bit harder brush. And this is pretty cool. Now I want to check log transparency and I can paint with this. But later we will fix the, the tonality here and so on and so forth. Here I will use a little bit darker tone so we can do that with layer mask, really soft brush and maybe 10% opacity. Let's see. And just because let me show you. The light is coming from this direction, as you can see, straight to her face. So this part down below will be a bit darker than this part. And of course, uh, this part will be even darker than this part. And this part should be a little bit darker than this part and so on and so forth. So we need to, let's go with maybe 5% for this one. Okay. And then Go back here and this one will be even darker because it's flatter. And it's a matter of speaking. So I will do the same for this part right there on the right side. And I will go right here, uncheck this and choose the color. Let's see. I want a little bit harder brush. Okay. And, and, and let's see, let's use 100% opacity. Yeah, that's it. And let's fix this. Okay, here. And I will fast forward this because you already know what I'm doing. Right, let's see, let's fix this a little bit more. So this part needs to be brighter. And this part right there can be ooh, too harsh and too big opacity. So the opacity needs to be 5%. Okay, and this part can be a little bit darker. And obviously this part needs to be a lot darker. Okay, and this part even more. 
Okay, if we need to make it even darker, we can do that by making another curves adjustment layer, clip it effect only that, make everything dark. And I want to invert it, Control Command I to invert the mask and with white, I can make this part even, even darker. Okay, let's see what we did. This is pretty cool for now. I think, I think it's cool. What do you think guys? Hmm? Okay, okay. Now we need to fix this part right there. Few things that we need to fix. First, um, this goes over the glasses. I don't want that and I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake and that's why we have this backup here. So I will make backup of the backup, Control Command J and use this right here at the top and put the black layer mask on it and just paint this here, so. Okay, perfect, so this needs to be under the glasses. Perfect. Then we need to make another part right there, we need to draw a part right there, so on the right side, on this side, I will go all the way behind everything, oops, control and click a new layer, and this will be curve, curve part, so. I will snap this color and I will draw something like, like it's going from here. Let's use a little bit harder. It's going from here, trial and error. Okay, it's going down behind everything. Don't worry about this. Looks crazy, I know, but um, maybe the angle is not good enough. Let's use eraser and Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe, we will see. And here we need another part that is going actually, this needs to go like there, like it's curved part of the cheek, if you understand what I want to achieve here. So, yeah, that's cool, but I need to make this a little bit thinner, so I will go with the razor. I can do that with, with pen. Pen tool, maybe it's easier because yeah, I will have more precise shapes. So I will go with the pen tool right there, right here and see, I can have really nice shape. And then just control enter and delete. And I can do the same for this side right there, so. like this actually actually it needs to go from 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 here and now let's see what we we can do to make this better okay let's go like that and de whoops delete now let's see what we did yeah that's a little bit better mm, actually it's pretty cool the down part here, it's okay. Now, what I like to do, I like to go to this background with uh, with these holes right there and control click on that to load these holes and go back to the curve and I can create a layer mask or I can just invert uh, all the selections, shift control I or shift command I and just erase this here. And, and here I need to erase it I will create a layer mask, definitely. And with a black and really soft brush, let's go all the way soft brush because this is really, really soft. I want this to go away like that. And obviously, obviously I want this to go away with a little bit hard brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks, this looks pretty cool. What I'm not, Sure, is this curve right there? Mm, maybe, maybe like even steeper angle, huh? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Let's leave it like this. I don't want this video to be too long, but you know, when you're making photo manipulations, it can take some time. Okay, guys. So this is this is the 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 rough. Thing that I want to do here. The next thing is to play with these lines right there. So where are our lines? It's right there. So what I want to do here is to lower the fill all the way down to zero. 
and we don't have any lines right now, so we have less problems. But if we double click on layer, our problem starts to appear again. I will go here to bevel and emboss and woo we have something cool right there. We can choose the depth, we can choose the size, we can make something crazy like this, but I don't like it at all. Okay, a little bit of the size, we can soften this a little bit. Mm -mm, six, seven. Seven, six, mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's see. Let's go with the inner shadow. <clears throat> and this is the inner shadow like that. Maybe lower the opacity of the shadow. I'm, I'm looking at this part right there. So the inner shadow, you can see. We can actually choose the color of the skin. A little bit darker color of the skin. And that can be color of the inner shadow, which is pretty cool. Okay, and we can go to Babylon Embos 2 and choose this again as the color of the skin, but a little bit darker, just to make it a little bit more natural, so it's not black. And then we can make a drop shadow. So drop shadow here, again, color of the skin, a little bit darker, multiply blending mode, and just a little bit to emphasize everything. I don't want to go like that. I just want to go with zero, and you can see it's just a little, touch there okay and let's press okay let's see what we did mm, nice pretty cool I will leave it like this for now I will show you one trick here so uh, we can create a new layer control click on this and then fill this layer with with the black why not just to show you. okay and now we have like everything is dark below but what we need to fix here is you can see this parts and this parts and this I purposely left this a little bit wider and I will create a layer mask and now if I paint here let's go let's let's hide this if I paint here see the effect how it's going all the way with with the mask I don't want that I want to double click on layer again and I want to go here layer masks hide effects so I want that and now oops here we don't have that issue so that's pretty cool and now I will go with really soft brush maybe 30% opacity and slowly take this out and here again slowly take this out and I will do that for the whole image so you know what I will do I will fast forward everything maybe 70% opacity and this is it okay let's fast forward this so guys, I purposely left this a bit uh, longer than it's supposed to be, just because of this blending. You don't need to do that if you don't want, but this is why I did it, especially here. I just want to blend it better, because this is blurred, and we will blur this later, but let's see how this goes. Okay, it's all the way from here. And this is why I left, left it like, like that. So I think we... We're done. Yeah. And now what we need to do, we can go right here to these black parts and just alt and drag and copy this layer. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if this is from the lips. Yeah, that's from the lips. Okay. And now we have something really interesting. The next step here is let's just hide, actually collapse the masks. Uh, let's go and use this. I just download this random photo and I want to put it all the way behind everything. So instead of this background, I will place this photo. And like we have something inside, it's pretty cool as you can see. So we can make it bigger, smaller, uh, adapt however we want. So I will control or command T and make this a lot smaller just to see what I can do here. Mm. Okay, I will fast forward this just to see where and how I want to have this. Okay, I will make a copy of the same layer and to see the other side, what I want to have on the other side. Maybe something like maybe something like this, why not? Okay, so that's it and I will create a layer mask and uh, go right there and delete these parts. So this is cool again with like that. Hmm, or, or let's leave this. Hmm? Okay, I will show you another trick. 
let's go and grab this file right there and I will put it right here at the top of everything. You can see now it's crazy, but I will put this into multiple blending mode and now I can use this like some kind of a mask. So let's make this even smaller. Let's see, as you can see, to hide even more things inside. So hmm. I will blur this. So let's let's undo, convert to smart object, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now I will blur it a bit and now make it smaller. And let's see what we can do right there. Okay, now when I press enter, everything is blurred, but I want to lower the opacity a little bit. And let's see if we will use this or not. Yeah, I like it because it's it's giving a really cool effect that's a little bit darker inside, but we will emphasize some of the bright parts by uh, going on the layer mask that I just created. And then, for example, I can go with this and I can just go with some parts brighter, some, some lights here I can add that because I like it. Maybe this too. Okay. Maybe this. That's pretty cool. So we can do the same for for this. Let's try. Let's try something really nice here. Let's go to this one. And I think it's pretty. Mm, yeah, let's. Why not? Let's make a copy of it. And what I like to do, I like to go all the way up with this one here. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but I want to do that. I'm not crazy, but this can be crazy idea. Let's see, like this, then alt and bring this mask inverted control or command I and this looks cool guys. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool, but I need this mask control command uh, oof. not here, but on the mask. Yeah, this can be interesting, but I don't like it. I want this as a mask exactly. So like that. And let's delete the layer mask and do it again. So I want this control click on this black lines. Now it's better. Now it's much better. Now what we can do, I can right click and apply mask. So I have just those lines and then bring back this. And finally, we have it so we can see through and we can make some glass surface uh, um, just at the top of this by going with the white layer, control and backspace to fill it with white. But actually, I will just load these lines. Now I will fill with, with white. And what we can do now, again, move this for the layer mask and lower the opacity. And now there is impression that this is actually some kind of a glass right there. So we can do that. That's an option like it's transparent and she's all the way electronics inside. Let's see. Mm, what do you think guys? Should we do like that or should we do like, like black? Hmm. I don't know either. So let's, let's go with this and, and decide later. Let's decide later. Okay. The next step is to maybe add something on the glasses, some text. Why not? Let's go right there and let's paste this text right here, this image. And I will move it into screen blending mode and position it right there. We can change the perspective, but this is pretty good. Straight like this. And I will press and hold Alt Option key and layer mask to load black layer mask and now just paint with white 100% opacity a little bit harder and fast forward this part because I'm just painting the glasses. Okay. And now we can try to control command T flip horizontal and maybe use it like this, but the perspective is not good. I just wanted to make it like it's in a mirror. So we need to, to do something like this and something like this then to match the perspective better, but let's see if I like this. Hmm. Hmm. Before, after, 
before. Mm, I like it better this way. It doesn't matter. So uh, I will leave it like this. And yeah, this is a little bit more blurred. This is more focused, like the face, etc. Now let's go and blur these lines and everything here. So how to do that? There is an easy way. There is a harder way. So I will go with an easier way and let's see, these are the lines. I will group everything here and right click, convert to smart object. And now everything is in one smart object and I will go with a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And yeah, let's, let's see the blur here pretty much. Okay. Okay, I will press OK and now I will go with this Gaussian blur layer mask and unblur everything that doesn't need to be blurred. So first I will unblur everything except these down parts just to see what I'm doing here. Okay, like this. And uh, that's it. Now this part needs to be a little bit more blur so I will go with soft brush. I will go with maybe 20% opacity for now. See, a little bit here. More here. More here. And this is pretty cool. This needs to be a little bit more blur. And this here. Okay. Mm, it's pretty decent. Let's see with this. This part, this part. Yeah, I think that's okay. So now we need to do the same for, let's go right there, let's create a layer mask uh, again here because I see some imperfections here that I need to fix. We need to do the same for, for the edges actually of the skin right there. So that's, that's, that's all the way on this. Yeah. Here we can, we can do with destructively this blur tool and we can blur. Yeah. We can blur the edges a little bit. I just want to blur the edge, not, not the texture too much. Perfect. Then we can do the same for this thing and that's the right one. Yeah. I can right click convert to smart object and just blur it, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, let's let's unzoom this to see because that's on this blurry part of the photo. The beauty of this using as a smart object is that we have this as a smart filter, we can always change the amount of the blur, etc. We need to do the same for this thing right there. It's here. Okay, let's let's group Oops, I want this. Bit. Let's group everything here and let's call it electronics. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So I can go inside and I can go on this one and right click. And actually, I can use a few things. I, let's, let's apply layer mask and then right click, convert to smart object and go to filter blur, Gaussian blur, and use the same 1.2, maybe 1.3, like that. And let's see what we have on the other side. Yeah, this part needs to be a little bit blurred. So right one, mm -mm -mm -mm, left one, left one. Let's go first with, with, with the face right there. Yeah. So I will go with this blur tool and blur these a little bit. Edges, not too much because here it's already sharp. And let's see here, it's a little bit more blur. Okay, so something like, like that. And now we can blur this. Where is it? It's here, yeah, it's here. Right click, convert to smart object, and we can just use smart filter with the Alt or Option key, drag and drop, and it's 
here the same amount of blur but we can do it differently we can blur it a little bit more let's see uh, it's pretty decent but now I want to unblur practically this part but not too much let's go with with, with hardness like that 30% and just a little bit because this is still inside the skin and it will be a little bit blurred so what I forgot to do is to add a little bit of depth of the skin right there because that's visible so it's not a big deal I'll fix it and to do that we need to go below this layer okay this is skin depth and here I will choose this color harder brush and yeah 100% opacity and just just do this see okay but a little bit darker so maybe this or I can I can make it darker mm. trial and error trial and error we have the helper for this the smoothing so <laughs> let's use it yeah like that okay that's cool and now we need to blur this again with the blur tool yeah I like it so here it's not visible the edges are not visible here mm, no no and practically let's let's make a bit wider like that yeah I like it I like how this looks Mm, this is not visible maybe here yeah here we need we need something so let's let's go let's go with uh, blur uh, the brush tool and just add no, 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 like that and I will make make it darker probably okay yeah that's that looks pretty cool we need to blur it again blur tool Ta -da. and the problem is solved here blur this yeah I need to blur that too okay so uh, in order to make this darker I will go with the curves adjustment layer clip it effect only these things right there and I will put it in the luminosity blending mode because I don't want to affect the saturation so like that and let's see this is cool this is cool but not too much so now I will go with brush soft brush 10% opacity and and just basically here on the middle will be a little bit brighter here will be darker and the same here this will be this will be brighter like like that so this guys this looks pretty pretty cool I'm really happy with this um, now we can play a little bit more if we want so for example let's let's add a number here let's go with this photo right there 31 and I want to put it all over this left part this is number okay and I want to erase everything except the 31 so there are a few options we can go like this or we can go we can go just select the 31 by selecting either the color or just use uh, use this magic one tool let's try and see how this looks and invert it control or command shift control command i or shift yeah shift control i or shift command i on a mac and delete and we have just the numbers 31 and we can delete the rest Control or command T and I don't want T. I maybe want some juice or coffee. I don't, I don't want coffee. So like this, like that, like that. And just just put it here. How it's supposed to be. Nobody knows. 
how this is supposed to be control command H to hide This this helps. Da, 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 da. Puppy power. Okay, so let's control command H. Mm, I don't like this. Maybe like that. Control command H. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, now I want to make it a bit smaller. Move it right there. And that's cool. Now we can go with human saturation adjustment layer, clip it to the number and desaturate it if we want, change the color if we want. Red, not bad. Red is not bad because it's a rhyme. Maybe, maybe orange, I don't know. I'm looking too much into these guys and my brain. That's, that's why it's really important uh, when you're doing anything, retouching, photo manipulation, whatever, just to take breaks. So now my eyes, my eyes already get used to all the details here, and I, I can basi I'm basically blind to details now because I see this. Uh, everything is practically mixed in my head, and now it's time to go away from the computer, make a coffee, tea, or just walk away, do something else, and come back, and you will see details better, what you made wrong, etc. So there is another trick: use black and white adjustment layer and work in this mode a little bit or just look at the image in this mode a little bit just to see the colors uh, just not to see the colors to see the lights better and then when you go back poof, you can see maybe mm, yeah maybe this 31 doesn't need to be that color so maybe it can be this color maybe it can be a little bit darker a little bit brighter I don't know but Maybe something like, maybe something like this. So let's see. Now everything is much better. No flaws, no errors here. But now, boo, okay. Okay, funny episode. I know, we can do something on with the number. We can double click on this and go with the bevel and emboss if you want. Why should I do this? I don't know, but that's an option. And when there is an option, not glow, inner shadow. Mm, what do you think? Should we do this? Should we do this? Like it's engraved inside. I'm not sure at all. We have another inner shadow and we can go with the white like this. We can go into screen blending mode. We can change the global light. And let's see if this helps at all. I want to be on the other side like that. Yeah, like here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys, I don't want to bother you with this. Actually, I can do this for myself later and see what I will put on Instagram. But for now, let's, let's pretend this is okay. I don't know. Let's hide the effects and uh, let's let's add a little bit more details here. So let's go black and white. Let's go right there at the top and I will call this a glip, a glip, <laughs> lip glow, glip, glip. It's a lip glow. So lip glow or glip. That's a new name. <laughs> okay, cool. So for that, I will again go with uh, my pen tool and just go here and here and then back come on back here and let's make a glip so if you didn't know what a glip is now you know it's a lip glow. Okay, I will fill this with... Let's fill it with white for a start. Okay, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad, I know. So, we can change it really easily. Control click on that and let's fill it with some kind of bright red, like this. Okay, now we have possibilities to... Wait, wait. 
possibilities to add curves adjustment layer actually hue and saturation adjustment layer and change the colors but for now i will go with this maybe a bit brighter and then i will create a new layer name it glow and i will select everything control or command g make group glip okay and now here i will put a glow into linear dodge blending mode go with the dark red tone and i will use really soft brush which may be 20% opacity, 30% opacity, and just add a glow right there. That's cool, like this is glowing. But that's why this inside part needs to be definitely brighter. So we can do it, do it like, like this. Hmm? Not bad. Not bad, but I don't like the shape. So Control Command T. We can move it here, we can move it here. Mm -mm -mm. let's see and we can blur it a little bit because it's too harsh now maybe 30% of this blur and just blur the edges yeah that's better and also we can add a layer mask let's see I'm just trying this out to see what what will be if I do something like this Hmm, not bad. If I do something like this and like this, I'm not sure. Let's try. I I didn't try this before recording the tutorial, so now you see me how I'm trying new things. Okay, not bad at all. all right guys, so I will stop here. It's crazy, we can do this for so long and I will just go with the global glow here glow put this into linear dodge blending mode there's so many things we can do here trust me but um, this will be way longer tutorial it's already way longer than i want it to be but i want to add a glow here see and just here a little bit low okay like that also what i didn't do let's see where is it electronics this one no this one no okay this one i want to blur this a little bit more because it's inside see so definitely i want to blur it a little bit more it's inside and uh, now let's see we can add that kind of a glow we can add blue tone so in case you don't know how to use this glow it's really simple and i already have few tutorials actually the whole playlist on the glow effect in photoshop so you can check it out on link right there and learn how to do it maybe a little bit glow oof too much maybe 10 percent just a little bit a little bit glow here and there and now we can add some texture on on these these parts right here let me show you how to do this I know it's too long tutorial, you can just stop watching here, but I will continue with adding some textures for all you guys who are interested in how to do it. There are again so many ways, but I will go with this. I will just copy, copy texture from, 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 let's see. Mm, let's, let's use this part right there. Okay, control or command J, take it out and move it right there. And I will put it all the way at the top where the left part is right here we can even put it inside but for now well, let's put it inside and right there and we can clip it to affect only this left cheek only actually this this part down below to affect only this part down below see and I'm already adding the texture here so I can rotate this and move it here I can put this into screen blending mode so because this is too bright let me show you. Mm, there is already texture here from the skin I don't know why I'm doing this but there is already texture this texture right there but it's because it's too bright I wanted to add it right there where I where I draw these these lines this is hidden okay I want it here 
this is what I wanted to do. So here, and I don't want to be in screen blending mode. I want to be maybe in overlay or soft overlay blending mode. That's cool. And then add a layer mask and erase everything from here. And now this, this part has a texture. We can do the same for, for this part right there. So um, let's copy. Let's copy the skin a little bit bigger portion right there from this layer down below control command J and now now let me show you. because it's here in the right part and right is smart object. There are few things how we can do this we can go and clip this where is it it's right here put it right there clip it to affect only this come on come on work now alt why why are you not working okay clip it to affect only this and put it into soft light blending mode and nudge it here and just add layer mask delete or you can go inside the smart object and then put it inside just on this part but this is pretty cool and also what I forgot to, to add here it's crazy it's maybe you saw already uh, previously but is this this part right there so I definitely need to go inside here I definitely need to go all the way here down below everything and add this color and just smoothing I don't want smoothing so I need this and now the problem is that I don't know I need to save it control command s go back here see it's cool but we are having the skin here and we need to make this we need to make this where is it here a little bit darker so curves adjustment layer clip it effect only that see it's darker put it into luminosity blending mode and let's see save it let's go back and see that's cool but what I don't like here is it's a little bit harder to to get the proper proper mask here so I can go here in the smart object layer and see what I'm doing here I'm doing I'm doing this doing this and I don't want to mess with that okay so this is almost okay I'll fast forward this I'm just making the mask here a little bit better mask okay so this looks pretty cool maybe I should make it darker but maybe not because everything is pretty bright here so I really like it all right guys I will stop <laughs> I'll stop definitely so uh, what we can do here we can just go all the way to the top let's see one more black and white not bad go all the way to the last visible layer shift control alt or shift command option e on a mac this is it and then i can go to filter you can go right click convert to smart object then i can go to filter blur uh, sorry camera and just add a little bit more contrast and maybe clarity etc and that's it okay let's add a little bit more contrast as you can see maybe open the shadows a bit we can go with the clarity and texture. We can go with the texture and lower the clarity. Okay. And let's see all the way down. If we go this to a little bit orange and teal tone. I like it. I like it. And the shadows. I like blue shadows. You know that. So, shadows, bluish. A little bit okay so that's it and a little bit of vignetting and and we are done so this is it 
Also, what we can do, we can crop this. So we can go with four by five because of the Instagram, make it smaller, maybe like this, maybe it's a little bit better. Maybe crop it like all the way like that. Why not? Not bad. So let's see. And voila, that's our model. So we started from regular photo right here, this one. And in a matter of few seconds, no, in a matter of a lot of minutes, we made this one. So before and after, I think it's pretty cool effect. You can add even more details here. You can add some wires that are going a little bit out or whatever. There are so many things we can add here, but Mm, this time is limited so maybe I will add a little bit more things here and there and put on Instagram I'm not sure check it out on my Instagram account but this is it for today I really hope that you like this video and that you learn something cool new and useful out of this one and that you're inspired to create something like this on your own maybe on yourself on your friends or whatever so if you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode please leave me down there in the comment section below I will be glad to answer it and also guys if you like this episode press that like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Check out the sponsor for today's video and have fun experiment and see you in my next one. Bye bye.